Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know, my name is Marvel, I'm and today I thought it would be nice for me to bring a studio tour for you guys in 2021. I know I did a studio tour last year, but I just thought it would be nice to show my new studio space after the video I put up last week. So I didn't go into details of everything I had in the studio when I did the studio makeover and organizing. So yeah, let's just jump right into this video and I'll show you everything I have in my studio space. So I'm just going to give you an overview of the studio space. So this is um, this studio space, if you don't know, is currently in my room. So that's the door. When you come through the door on your left, that's where I have everything set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you everything from this end and then move down to the storage and shelf bookcase section. So first of all, this is a filming. These are two filming lights. I got them from Walmart. And um, they actually they actually come from a different brand but Walmart kind of partners with several stores online so I got this studio this filming lights from there you can also use them for shoots and any other like photography stuffs that you want to do and this easel right here I also got from Walmart it's actually from the US um, art supply store so if you want to get it directly from them you can go ahead and just search for their collection of easels and you'll be able to get this from there and you have to set it up anyway moving on to the next thing I got this plant from Lowe's and it's a live plant I also got this um, one from Lowe's as well I really really love this because of the minimalist line drawing there I have some book books here that I brought from Australia I really love reading although I haven't found the time to do so lately but I will get back into it soon I also have my speaker that I use for playing music while I'm painting above my st studio table my mom gave me this thing for this is kind of a um, gate thing that you use when you have toddlers and you don't want them to cross a particular area in your homes but i just thought it would be nice to use it for like hanging stuff so um, this is my laptop for editing this laptop i've had it for about five years now it's been really helpful i also have this set of brushes some of them i've had from college and other ones I purchased when I got to the US. I got them last year. This, especially these two, I just got them. They are really one of my favorite brushes. This is a painting I did yesterday. <laughs> I had so much fun doing this. It didn't take me up to, I think it took me less than 10 minutes or about 10 minutes to do this. And um, you'll be seeing this in a video very soon, so I won't go into much details of that painting. I got this, um, it was too big, so I'm going to put a smaller plant in there. This is a mannequin I got from my friend as a birthday gift. This case, I have loads of pencils in there. So I have different pencils that I got last year from Amazon in here. Um, I carry this around when I just need to get be on the go and I want to just take something with me to to draw or when I have like any ideas I just always have this in my bag or in my car and then the case was from my mom she gave this to me moving on to the next item I got these jars I got two of these jars from a trip store I went um, um, looking for a studio chair which I haven't had much success with because I'm trying to get something cheap and affordable I wasn't able to get that yet but I will definitely get a studio chair soon. This artist um, book is from Amazon. I'll try to link the 
book in the description as well this bike thing is also from amazon i just um what else okay this lamp i got from my friend in australia so when i was coming down here i actually shipped this with some of my stuffs because i just love having like little stuffs that kind of brings um memories um of my friends and also this also is from my friend in australia shout out to them they know themselves <laughs> I can't remember exactly where I got this from. If I do, I will link it in the, in the description. But this I use in holding my phone when I want to get different angles of a painting or when I'm filming. I just use this to hold my phone. Um, I really love this. Just take a look at the detail. It's so nice. It looks like this was hand painted, but it wasn't. Um, I'm actually working on this ink. Um, I've been working on ink since yesterday as well i did a little bit of work that i didn't put online or record actually i think i recorded it but i just don't know if i'll be uploading anything about that but anyway so i used to use ink for drawing a lot so i'm trying to get back into using ink also i feel like because it's been a while since i've painted or drawn anything um ink has so much fluidity that it gives you so much movement in your painting so this table i love it because you can literally extend this section so it literally goes all the way out and i just love that it's by the side of my easel because when i'm painting i can just move the plant and move everything here and put them on the floor and just kind of put all my brushes water whatever medium i'm working with i can just have that space and have my chair in front of the easel and paint so that's really handy to have that there so this uh, table is also from Amazon. I'm going to link it in, in the description. Um, this, like I have this stapler that I use for kind of holding papers down together. You already know what like a little cutter, scissors, pens, and protect, protect, protect. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to say this thing anymore because the last time I used this was in high school. It's a protractor. I got this cart thing from Michael's um, last year and this was has been really helpful because I can literally move it around. I'm pretty sure every artist owns one of these in different colors. It's so handy because it has those wheels at the bottom and they kind of help you move it around and it's not stationed. And I just like that you can literally have it out of the way. And on this part, in this cart, I have my teaser watercolor, compact watercolor that I really love. I got this from a thrift store as well. Um, I think it's actually for holding eggs, but I just thought it would be nice for a palette. And um, yeah, that comes in really handy. And I have this wooden palette as well. I have a spray bottle, mud podge. I have different jars for different mediums of paint. I have this um, oil paint, my win my windscreen, my windsaw and Newton. Yeah, my windsaw and Newton oil paint. I have them in different colors in this little bag over here. And I just have more stuff here. I have my watercolor case that's where i do all my watercolor work this is for this is um a oil pastel i have different uh, oil, pa oil pastel here as well i also have this linseed oil that i haven't started using yet i have my fabric paints just right there and um i have this um, tray that is divided into three sections i have different mediums as well watercolor oils and um acrylic paints okay at the bottom of my chair um, of my table i have this drawer here so i just keep my laptop charger my lap laptop um case and just a few papers and these frames i'll be using them for a video soon so stay tuned for that and i have more paper here for drawing and i also love the fact that this table has this thing so it's kind of a drafting table and that's why it has this black ledge so you could literally pull it all the way up to about here i wish i could you could pull it up to this point i think i wish i could do that but that would be a lot of work getting off the all this off the table so i might show you i might show that in another video 
now moving on to the bookcase the bookshelf um i really love this bookshelf it was just the right size that i needed because it's just right behind my door and i didn't want anything obstructing the door or something that was too bulky so this was a perfect size for the studio space and on this shelf i have this set of books of course also from australia i got this clock from ross this um at, um this fake plant for um um lows as well all my plants are actually from Lowe's. so every um, artifact plant or life plant you see in my studio is from ross i also oh, from Lowe's. i also have one plant up here as well i really love plants so i had to get a few i also have this bamboo one here as well and it's really inexpensive anyway i got this thing from australia as well this just kind of gives me memories i used to work with a child care and we had one time where we had a magician come in and he gave everyone one of this so i just keep that there have this thing that i got from i think bollington that has this word gratitude turns what we have into enough that word just spoke, stood out to me and i had to get it get the the frame anyway i have my, my gamsol gamsol. solvent for washing brushes for toning down my oil paint for making it a little bit lighter so have this gold thing that i got from world market because i got a few items for my room from world market and um have a bunch of stencils that my mom gave to me i have this jar this wooden box where i keep my coin also have a few papers sticky papers for making notes and whatnot i also have this desk desk easel and this um, clipboard i also keep my camera up here because i just like it there i have this basket where i keep accessories like my microphone my extra charger and just my small tripod which i'm currently using to film uh, i have a bunch of um books for different mediums i have this new set of brush as well also i have this basket where i keep my rags so i just piece, um, chopped off um, some of my clothes and i just keep the rags in the basket i also have this case thing where i have different colors i have this little transparent bag where i keep my my um cello tapes my um, glue gun and extra pencil for drawing and at the bottom i also have this like a tech section i have more techy stuff here cables um what else do i have yeah i have cables i have my laptop my um computer bag my drone i keep everything here and then this is my tripod i usually would have it at the corner there folded up but i just don't think it's disturbing me so i just left it in the corner there also i left a little bit of space in between the wall and the between the wall and the bookcase so i can have space for keeping canvases as you can see i have a few frames a few bigger sketchbooks and everything in there um i also have more <laughs> brushes here palette knives more brushes little panels pa canvas panels this color wheel thing also have that there i have this little um waterproof camera i also have this i really love this book i haven't used it yet but the texture feels so good it's going to be so nice for paintings i can't wait to try that behind the brush i have a set of new brushes there as well i've shown that in my previous video i also have these lockable containers for putting paints which i haven't started using yet but i'm so excited to use them when i start painting again anyway guys i think that's about it i think i've covered everything in the studio that's it for now my studio isn't anything like big or you know I, I haven't gotten a lot of materials that i really want to get guys that's the um end of my studio tour let me know if you enjoy it let me know if you liked it um like i said earlier i'm going to link everything down in the section um and then 
yeah don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share like this video do all that good stuff and i'll see you in my next one bye for now <laughs>